Hey there, welcome back to the Declarative Academy. I'm glad you're here. If you're new to the channel, this is your go-to spot for breaking down Salesforce concepts with real-world context and zero jargon overload. Whether you're prepping for your admin cert or just looking to sharpen your lightning console skills, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into one of the most powerful tools for service teams, the Lightning Service Console. This is part of the Trailhead project, set up the Lightning Service Console. And trust me, once you set this up, your support team will thank you. By the end of this walkthrough, you'll know how to create a custom service console app, customize Lightning Console pages, add utility tools like macros and history, enable live agent, and streamline support with Omnichannel. Our mission, help Ada Balewa, a product support specialist at Ursa Major Solar, serve customers faster and more efficiently with a tailor-made console experience. Let's jump right in. Before we build the console, let's make sure the playground is ready. That means two things, enabling Salesforce knowledge and setting up our test user, Ada. Here's what to do. Start by clicking the gear icon, then go to Service Setup. Under Recommended Setup, find the tile that says Add Your Users and click Get Started. Now, enter Ada's details for email, Ada Balewa at Ursa Major Solar, with your initials, today's date.com. First name, Ada. Last name, Balewa. For the profile, Custom Support to Profile, click Add User, then hit Finish. Next, let's enable Knowledge. Back in Recommended Setup, click View All. Select Knowledge Setup, then click Start. When prompted, choose both yourself and Ada as Lightning Knowledge Authors. Click Next and then Finish. Heads up, if you're out of licenses in your org, just deactivate one or spin up a new playground. Next step requires us to build the Lightning Service Console app. Now for the fun part creating the console app that puts everything your support team needs onto a single screen. Now let's build the app. Go to Setup, and in the Quick Find box, type App Manager. Click New Lightning App to get started. On the first screen, enter the following. App Name, Ursa Major, Solar Service Console. Description, Ursa Major Solar's one-screen case management interface. You can skip uploading branding for now. Click Next. On the App Options screen, choose Console Navigation Select Service Setup, then click Next. Now for Utility Items, click Add Utility Item, Add History, Add Macros, Add OpenCTI Softphone. Don't worry if these don't seem active just yet. We'll dive into how they work in future modules. Next up, Configuring Navigation and Page Behavior. This step defines what users will see in the console and how pages behave when they're opened. On the Navigation Items screen, hold Control or Command on Mac and select Accounts, Cases, Contacts, and Knowledge. Move them to the Selected Items list. Then, click Next. Now set up the navigation rules. For Accounts, choose Open in Workspace tabs. For Cases and Contacts, select Open as subtabs of Account Next, Assign Access. On the User Profile screen, select both, Custom, Support Profile and System Administrator, click Save and Finish. And that's it, your console is ready to go. Let's take a look at it in action. Now let's test the console. Step into Ada's shoes and see the experience from her point of view. Start by opening the app launcher, then select Ursa Major Solar Service Console. Click Accounts, and from the list view, choose All Accounts. Open Edge Communications. Notice how the left pane stays visible. That's called split view. It helps users stay oriented while navigating. Scroll down and click on Sean Forbes under contacts. His contact record opens as a sub tab, neatly organized under the account. Now, open Pyramid Construction Inc. and click on Pat Stamula. Click new under the cases section to create a new case. You'll see that the account and contact fields autofill, super convenient. Go ahead and fill out the rest. Case origin, phone subject, solar panel warranty description. What is the warranty on the solar panels when they get installed? Then click Save. Finally, 
Hit the history utility at the bottom to review everything you've touched. Expand Pyramid Construction's history to get a view of your recent actions. Boom, your console is live, personalized, and ready for action. Key takeaways, while you verify your challenge. The Lightning Service Console brings everything your support reps need into one efficient workspace. Utilities like macros, history, and CTI boost speed and visibility. Navigation and sub-tabs keep everything organized and context rich. And testing as a user helps validate your build before handing it off. If this walkthrough helped you bring the service console to life, give it a thumbs up and drop a comment below. Let us know what other trailhead topics you'd like us to cover. And hey, don't forget to subscribe for more Salesforce tips, step-by-step -step guides, and real-world breakdowns from the declarative. Thanks for tuning in. Until next time, keep it declarative.